And now we're going to learn about how to create extruded floor space shapes. So what we do is you already have a sketch you made already. And you can see that uh, in the feature tree or the modeling history, you can see there is a sketch created. So if you click it, it selects all the entities in the, the sketch. And then you can click features and click extruded floor space. And it shows the kind of preview of the extruded shape you could get. Uh, and you can change the, uh, the depths of it to 10, to 20 and enter, uh, or 30 and enter. And if you click enter again, it's done. Yeah. And if you're not happy with it, you can always go back to the uh, the modeling history and right click and you can edit feature here click it you can change the the depth of it you can also have a two directions um, like that again go back uh, edit feature uh, so it's uh, yeah, you can either type the parameters here or you can move these arrows around like this. Um, so either click enter on the keyboard or click here, okay. If you're not happy with it, you can also delete the whole extruded shape. So delete it, yes. And if you just want to create extruded shape uh, with one sketch it out of um, the different ones, then what you can do is you click extrude board space and you select one sketch there. Yeah, so you can move it around uh, both way and you want to uh, have a bit of degrees. Yeah, so yeah, it's a, it was a cylinder, but now we can make it like half on and cylinder. Yeah, so it could look like a little pencil. Uh, yeah, so I played around. 